Hey guys, welcome to another electric unicycle and gadget review show on YouTube. And today I'm going to show you a new gadget that I've just uh, purchased from Taobao. And with my trusty knife, I'm opening up my little Baobei. <laughs> they quite treasure in China. Let's throw this one side. And let's open this up. Uh, which side is the blade? Yep. Always be careful when you're handling a pocket knife because you never know which side is the, the correct edge. So make sure you use it correctly, otherwise you might cut yourself. <laughs> which is not the good thing to do when you are opening up a new gadget. Whoa, yeah. Okay, let's take this aside. Oh, we can almost smell it. <laughs> okay, let's let's open this up. Not sure whether if you can see it properly. I'm unboxing this uh, VR Shiniko. It is a dive unit, or they call it the VR uh, card box from Google kind of thing. But this is a more uh, expensive version. But it's not exactly expensive. <laughs> Uh, it's relatively cheap and it's made in China. I I think it's made in China, if I'm not wrong. Wow! Wow, what do you see? I see this uh, micro USB to USB female port, which is nice. And what is this? This is some kind of uh kind of tape or something, I don't know. Okay, this is a virtual reality glass user guide, so you have to read through um, if you're interested. It's in Chinese, unfortunately, and English, there's two, two and, and Japanese, so there's three different languages that you can choose from. Uh, I'll put up a screenshot of it uh, later, you'll be able to see it. Uh, you can pause the video to see it and uh, read through the menu, which is the user guide. And a piece of uh, microfiber cloth. This is good to cl clean the lenses, which is nice. So we are Shinkon. Yes, the English version. Um, it says the pupil distance adjusting uh, absorption type switch, the object distance adjusting button, and optical glass focus adjustment knob. Ta da! Whoa, it comes with a free, uh, they call it the lens cleaning fluid, you know, in Chinese. Alright, what's next? Oh, it comes with a free remote control, iOS and Android and PC. It comes with a free remote, Bluetooth, I think this is the uh, Bluetooth gamepad and selfie shutter remote. Awesome. Let's open this up and see what is inside. Mm, mm. Okay, so that's a menu. Oh, it's in Chinese and English. It's good. Looks like a gamepad, which is very good. And there's a start on off button. You can see a blue light that is switching on. Okay, here comes the gadget itself. Whoa, what is this? There's a freebie inside here as well. Uh, this is a fast key. I'll find out what is this later. Alright, so let's get down to the main gadgets. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Wow, this is a VR Shiniko. So that is some sort of a. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> wow, you can see this thing. You can put your iPhone or Android phone, and it's spring spring loaded. Wow, 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 wow. 
compare this to the Google Cardboard, this is definitely a more uh, robust kind of uh, VR headset. And there is a... Wow, what is this? There's a kind of a plastic that is on the lens. You need to open this up and take this plastic out. And of course, put this, pull this out. Wow, there's a, some kind of plastic covering the lens. So I'm going to try this on and see how comfortable it is. Oh, let me see if there is some kind of... This is a Velcro. Oh, so it's adjustable. It's adjustable as well, the side. So let's wear it and see. Ooh, okay. There's some kind of... Uh, hole at the bottom which I can see the light at the bottom if I think it's best to turn off the light if you do not want that brightness at the bottom but it's good to have a hole so that you can breathe <sighs> yep but there's a hole so maybe turn off the light when you're watching anything <laughs> this is cool <laughs> okay, I'll be doing some reviews on a VR application on iOS soon and I'll tell you which one will be better using this uh, VR Shinicon. Okay, now comes to the pros and cons of this uh, Shiniko VR virtual reality glasses. First thing first is there is a magnetic enclosure that you can actually uh, open and close very easily and safely put your smartphone into the devices very very easily uh, there's a way for you to control the focus by controlling the two knob at the side to see further or nearer All right and there is an option for you to uh, change the widening of the eyepieces and this little cushion here feels very very soft there is one downside. It is relatively heavy with the phone inside. While you wear it uh, and playing some games, sometimes you might feel a, li a little bit of neck strain that you want to uh, go up, down, left, right. It feels a little bit heavy on the neck. <laughs> um, another thing is if you are living in a very hot region in, in the world, for example in Singapore, it's very humid uh, and you tend to sweat a lot. And uh, this will definitely be very hot. It doesn't seem to have any kind of ventilation at the side. Uh, the freebies that come with um, this seller is good enough. Um, you know, you have the, the lens cleaner through it. You have the Bluetooth um, IK controller, I gamepad, they call it. You have the microfiber and there is this Android only uh, extra little button thingy which I, I, I couldn't use because I'm an iPhone user. I've seen other uh, virtual reality glasses that have some kind of button for you to push at the side, um, but I believe that is for Android only. So I hope the developer or even Apple themselves can come up with some ways to control your games within the applications. Yes, there is a lot of Bluetooth uh, gamepad that you can actually control, but not all games have that kind of options to use the Bluetooth controller on the outside. Uh, and another thing i like to discuss is whether or not you will prefer uh, wearing this uh, virtual reality glass to watch a movie, for example, versus a big monitor right in front of me and watch at uh, in front of me without anything in front. There are con converter that convert videos you know that you have into a split screen and wash it within the VR glasses but it only added a, a, a way for you to watch the video uh, and conceal a little bit of the video on the side make it like you need to turn left and right to see the full video which makes it very tiring yeah there are another option in the another application which i i saw is that it, it virtualize yourself into a cinema that you are sitting at home and you are actually seeing a fake person sitting beside you in a cinema and watching a screen like far far away 
in, in a cinema setting. It's not really that good. <laughs> Uh, it, it don't really have that sense of uh, huge video in front of me. Yes, uh, if if you are watching videos from application like those 360 application uh, that you can actually see behind you and see the side and the sky and the bottom and everything, uh, usually is uh, is a nifty idea. It's a new experience. You can experience what other are experiencing. But the thing is. Once you realize you cannot control the movement, uh, it's like a roller coaster ride. You, you cannot really control the experience. For normal movies that is not 360, uh, I prefer to watch in a using a monitor TV kind of setting at home without the VR glasses. But if you're talking about 360 videos that you can find online uh, on YouTube, uh, for Android phones, you can have the setting to set it to a split screen and you can turn left and right and it's really amazing uh, but for iPhone uh, YouTube so far is not updated yet for um, you know I, I think Google is doing it a very very slow job to improve on the iOS application for YouTube to see a split screen for 360 videos which uh, there is a paid app uh, to do that well basically that's it for this video and i really appreciate your guys feedback uh, put in the comment section below what do you think about uh, this particular video and these gadgets thank you very much for watching simon's video have a nice day see ya bye bye